So it's important to understand uh, we put in place an elaborate plan. And so I'll talk through it very quickly. So from the GSU round, roundabout, there'll be traffic police. And you will drive down if you're driving your car. You will park at the gymnasium or at the parking number three. When you park your car, you will lock your car and you will leave immediately. We will not allow people to hang around cars anymore. We will have 300 G NYS officers manning our parking tomorrow. So there will be no games around doing it. So when you park your car, if you're walking, you will use gate two. Get three, get four, get six, get seven, and I think up to get ten. Mm -hmm. If you're walking, you will walk in. You will be handed a ticket at the gate. It is free, but you'll be given a ticket. Because when the tickets are finished, mm -hmm. because we are under regulations by CAF, we cannot put 60,000 people on that pitch. So when the tickets are finished, we shall lock. We're going to open at 9 a.m. There will be serious entertainment with uh, big artists uh, that you and will be leading our charge tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, we are asking Kenyans to come with a flag, a Kenyan flag, a small one or a big one. We want to lay it on that pitch so that we can draw so Kenya on it. So the gates are opening at nine. Gates are opening at nine. I wish we had a service, a charge service there at nine. Uh, it would be nice, we'll but there'll be good music. <laughs> there'll be good music uh, with, with, with good artists. Yes. Uh, Daddy Owen is leading the charge. He's preparing a song for Kenyans mm. to sing for us. We've never had a song for national team. Mm -hmm. He has promised me he'll have a song for the people tomorrow. Impressive. We're singing from 10. There'll be good services. There'll be food in the stadium. You'll be able to buy food. At 2 p.m., we shall lock down the stadium. But we shall lock it down at the point we get to 60,000. We'll lock, the, we'll lock the stadium because we're not allowed to do more than that. Now we'll have uh, GSU, we'll have regular police, mm -hmm. we'll have dogs, uh, we'll have police dogs, we'll have uh, uh, horses. And so there will not be games tomorrow. Don't enter the field of play. Don't play around and start doing funny things or throwing sick things on the pitch. We will pick you up, there will be trucks waiting to put you away. All right? We'll put you away at Kasarain Police Station and on Monday, We'll arrain you in court. We want to make sure that you enjoy the game. If we win, celebrate. Don't get on the pitch. So in short, right? there needs to be order. order that maybe... There must be order because CAF has sent their top security officer to this game. Once the minister sent out the, the, the press statement that we're giving it for free, CAF released their top security officer to come and make sure we comply. If we don't comply, uh, there are serious repercussions. The game can be stopped. We don't have that. We can be sanctioned. We can be charged. We can be... All sorts of things can come. Mm -hmm. But we want Kenyans to enjoy the game. Come, there will be entertainment, there will be flowing music, there will be singing for the team tomorrow. Come in your red shirt. I know we have an issue with replicas. We're sorting it out. I'm promised by next week we'll have them. Come in your red shirt. We'll be wearing red tomorrow. So come in your red shirt. Come with your Kenyan flag. We'll be drawing Kenya on the both opposites of the goals. We want to show that we can support this team more than Ethiopia did. We can surely do more than they did. And now that the gate entry is free, come with your family as well. Enjoy being out there. So that, so that after tomorrow, let's make it a festival. The, prom the players are promised uh, to do this and, and to win for us. Let's give them the support they need. And let's assure Kenyans that we're going to have more than a thousand cops, a thousand police, and the GSU will be there. So we don't expect any issue. And I'm just from the planning meetings right now, and we're not sleeping to make sure it's done. The music is already up, and, and the artists are doing their job. Mm -hmm. Hopefully by tonight they can release a few chorus for us to make sure that we can support our team. Let's sing for this team. How do we make this a culture? Because it should not be a one-off uh, thing, not because we want to win AFCON, but we need to always be coming out there and support this team. If we start tomorrow, if we start tomorrow, it's a first step. It's always a first step. Kenya is playing Mauritius in next month. We want to do the same. We want to make sure every time Kenya is playing at home, it's, it's an entertainment. It's, it's, it's a place you go to enjoy yourself. You'll have your drink, you'll go, you'll go there, there'll be family, you can come with your chick kids, they can start to, 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 to go out and support Kenya as early as eight or nine or seven. That way we create the culture and they will support this team in the years to come. I think this is the message for Kenyans. We are working so hard, we're not sleeping to make sure that it is safe for you and your wife, and your children. It's a place you're going to come and enjoy. You will enter the pitch and leave after the game in peace without any issues. We are doing very serious security details to make sure that we're on top of this and we will arrest any troublemakers very quickly, put them away and put them in court on Monday. Besides that, I think let people enjoy the game. Let them come and say that we were there when Kenya beat Ethiopia. 
70,000 of us. Because I remember Nigeria. I was there when Kenya beat Cape Verde, when Daniel Slick scored myself. I was there. And so I want Kenyans to say, I was there when Michael Olunga scored the winning goal to take Kenya to the Cup of Nations 2019. Tomorrow is a very important and vital day for Harambe Stars and for the nation to be specific. But from where you're sitting, looking back from the day you came into office, what can you say? How has this journey been? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a story of our lives. We won elections on 10th of February. And within three weeks, we were in the plane to play a game on Wednesday in Guinea-Bissau. We had never met the players. It was the first time we were meeting them. Victor had to fly into Casablanca, into Guinea-Bissau. And remember that game, we lost one nil. We played better than them and lost one nil away. This week, we went away to Ethiopia, Moses, and won. Because we got a point. The point we couldn't get against Guinea-Bissau. We came back to Kenya that weekend, and we lost Moses. We lost one nil again, and that's how we lost the journey to go to the World Cup that was in Russia. Now, we went last year to Sierra Leone. We lost. Sierra Leone are out. We went away to Ethiopia. Ghana came to Kenya, as you know, and historically beat them. We went away to Ethiopia, where we have not won in 21 matches, mm -hmm. and got a point. We want to have them tomorrow. We want to beat them, Moses. We never promised 2019. But we are close, and we're asking Kenyans to give us a chance to do it. Uh, the players are happy. I'll have dinner with them today mm -hmm. and wish them well. And I'm asking Kenyans today to have, say a prayer for them because you need some luck. You need some luck also in the game. You saw Ethiopia hitting the post. You saw uh, Eric Johanna coming so close away in Ethiopia. We could have been today six points and away. So the game also needs some, some, some luck around it. And I feel with this unit, with, 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 with now Ayub Timbe coming back, uh, in the month, I feel there's something unique about it. Something positive. I think there's something positive about it. What about the women's uh, football? The starlets on their side. We know the likes of uh, Essie Akida, some positive news uh, for her uh, being uh, signed professionally. Uh, what's your general assessment and how are we uplifting these ladies? So, so, so Essie has done very well for the national team starlets. Uh, and you know when you do well, other people see. The Israeli team, Sharon, has uh, given one year contract. We have a few other players that have gone on to Sweden. You know, we had, uh, we had Corazon out in Sweden. Uh, we had uh, Adam out uh, trials in Sweden. We have some two players out there. Our national team for women is doing well. But important is our league, which has since resumed and which we are investing FIFA funds into. They played today. I just saw that uh, there was a game going on uh, as I came here at, uh, at, at Nairobi Steamer. And that league is firing and going on. We want to make our women compete. We missed the Cup of Nations by a whisker. And we have appealed. So we are waiting to see what decision uh, the committee makes mm -hmm. and whether we can go forward. I'm very excited about our women game. Mm -hmm. We have given it a fantastic support, the Premier League and the Division One uh, going on very well. Mm -hmm. I think we were in Cameroon in 2016. Mm -hmm. Maybe we go back to Cameroon again in 2019 with the men team because we've been there with the women team for Cup of Nations. Do you believe that this women's team, actually, if they get all the support that they need, will be talking a very different uh, talk altogether? I know there's some uh, positive uh, strides, but can we do better? I think, I think that the league, if the league continues to be played, I think that if we continue to see the new generation of the under-20s that were there before, that we put in in 2016, I believe that it's a matter of time. This is a World Cup going team. And I believe it's a matter of time before we sit in a World Cup. Mm -hmm. I hope that I'll be here, but even if I'm not here, I think that we will be in the World Cup with mm -hmm. women probably ahead of the boys. But I can tell you the boys are showing us something that we didn't know. This team can compete against any team in Africa. Mm -hmm. The team we have seen in Ethiopia can beat anyone in Africa. What are some of the challenges? When we think about the men's football and what the men's actually uh, go through and think about the ladies' of football on the other side, Two different uh, uh, scenarios. Very different. What are some of the challenges that we're facing in regards to uh, the ladies' football? I know people are talking about the league and how uh, some of the teams, even uh, in, in, in the leagues, lack the financial uh, stability on the same. But uh, I hear there's some positive news in regards to the same. Yeah, uh, this is the thing. With women, getting a girl out of the home to go and play is harder than getting a boy. Boys kick around easily. Girls have to see boys playing, develop some interest, start playing. And it starts there. So even in the development of a girl and a boy, it's different for the game of football. But for FIFA, they have given us a program, a pilot program, Moses, to invest about a million dollars 
in the next two years in development of the kids and the leagues to make them better so that we aspire to be in the World Cup in 2023, I believe. And so for me, the work to be done is there and the girl is different from the boy and how you get them on the pitch is different. We're trying to get them on TV, you can imagine. We're struggling getting the Premier League on TV. What about the Women Premier League? We want to get them on TV so people can watch them and know them. They have done well, and that's why you know Essie. You wouldn't know them if the national team didn't, didn't do well. So we want to push it and know that you're watching the league at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. This way then we can push the league higher. We can push these girls higher, make sure they earn a little bit more, give them a little bit more investment from what they have today. A Premier League team, a, a women Premier League team spends about 5 million shillings a year. Mm. We're giving them today just about $7,000. It's not enough. So you know. But we're doing something. Mm -hmm. We're pushing them. It's a hard environment, even for men to invest. I know Premier because League of... team today, uh, I have a problem. Only four of them are able to pay in time, for example. Uh, time is uh, flying uh, so uh, fast. Uh, maybe your final uh, sentiments to the guys uh, who are your supporters and also your critics, because they're out there in numbers. So let me start with our critics. I said that we came in office very to change the game. Mm. We have changed the game. We're playing Ethiopia tomorrow. Even if you don't like me, that's your team. Support it. We are doing things to make it functional. Mm -hmm. And we have done better than before. Mm -hmm. Support it. To those who support us, come in numbers tomorrow. Enjoy. Wear your red shirt. Carry your flag. Mm -hmm. Sing for the team tomorrow. Come with us to the Cup of Nations. Mm -hmm. Let's change this country in terms of football. Let's bring the positivity we need for our boys. Let's show them that there is hope mm -hmm. because there is hope. And we can be optimistic that these things are going to change and Kenya will be better. It's not about the federation. It's not about uh, an individual. It's all about the Kenyan uh, side because we ought to go out there and support Arambe stars. They deserve it. And uh, trust you me, the Football Kenya Federation are doing all that they can to make sure that that dreams become a reality of Kenya going back to Africa Cup of Nation 2019. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Nick Mwendo, always a pleasure to have you on board. And for our fans, that's all time you had for in a day's edition of uh, KTN uh, Scoreline. My name is uh, Moses Wahizi. Do have a lovely afternoon and always keep it KTN News. Mm -hmm.